Is it me? Or it's really, really, really hard to define what a chemical in you is. After all, there's a lot of definitions out there. So what can we do about that? Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. It's always great to have you back. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Remember that in this channel, we talk about chemical and process engineering for both students and professionals already working in the industry. So don't hesitate to click on this notification bell so you get all my latest videos. Now, why is it so hard to define what a chemical engineer is or what they do? The first thing I will say is that if you go through the route of explaining to other people that the chemical engineer is in charge of producing chemicals, they will automatically assume that you are working in a lab, maybe as a chemist, working with formulations, with glassware, which is definitely far from reality. In the other hand, if you explain that you are working in a chemical plant and that you work with equipment, heating, cooling, they may get an idea that you're actually working as an operator or a technician, not that much into an actual chemical engineer. So how can we define chemical engineer? And to be honest, I have read a lot of definitions since before going into actual chemical engineering being in chemical engineering and graduated as chemical engineer, even working in several industries, you will order here different definitions. So what we're going to be doing in this video is checking out all the definitions of a chemical engineer and trying to make sense of those, take some keywords, some general ideas, and finally make the ultimate definition of what a chemical engineer is. Definition number one. Chemical engineering deals with the study of operation and design of chemical plants, as well as methods of improving production. Chemical engineers develop economical commercial processes to convert raw materials into useful products. I really like this definition, very straightforward. You are in charge of chemical processes, the industry, and making other type of chemicals into final products. What I don't like about this is that they don't include that much into the unit operations itself, the type of processes, and the subjects that they need to cover. For instance, mathematics, analytical thinking, physics, biology, chemistry, and so on. Second definition. Chemical engineering uses principle of chemistry, physics, mathematics, biology, and economics to efficiently use, produce, design, transport, and transform energy and materials. I really like this definition because it includes chemicals or materials and energy. A lot of chemical engineers will be working towards energy production and working with energy. That's a very important aspect to consider whenever talking about chemical engineering. It also includes the sciences and mathematics that you require, which is very important, especially for those willing to go into chemical engineering. It's very important that they know that they will have strong fundamentals in sciences and mathematics. What I don't like about this definition is that it does not include some examples of processes or industries. It does not include unit operations or so. Next definition. Chemical engineers apply the principle of chemistry, biology, physics, and math to solve problems that involve the use of fuels, drugs, food, and many other products. Okay, so this definition, as you can see, has several examples of the type of industries but it doesn't have that much about the products or processes that you will be working with. Also, it does not include the unit operations, it does not include the typical tasks or so. So not a good or complete definition in my thought. Now, let's check out this one. Chemical engineering is the branch of engineering that deals with chemical production and the manufacture of products through chemical processes. This includes designing equipment, systems, and processes for refining raw materials and for mixing, compounding, and processing chemicals to make valuable products. Okay, right away, I really love the idea of valuable products. This is the main core of chemical engineering and is producing from raw materials into valuable products for society. Kudos on that. I really like also the concept of manufacturing and production. That's great. But I will also, once again, as stated before, we we'll would love to see a little bit more on sciences and mathematics, maybe analytical thinking, problem solving, troubleshooting, more tasks or more skills of the chemical engineer. Now, this one. Chemical engineering involves the production and manufacturing of products through chemical processes. This includes designing equipment, systems and processes for refining raw materials and for mixing, compounding and processing chemicals. 
Now, I don't know about you guys, but this sounds pretty similar to the one before, and I'm pretty sure that the previous definition was based in this article. This definition is from the Chemical Engineering American Chemical Society, which is a very respect organization or institution. So I'm pretty sure that this is essentially the main definition of chemical engineering according to this institution. So I'm not going to be arguing or discussing because we already did this in the previous definition. Now let's check this one. Chemical engineering is all about changing raw materials into useful products you use every day in a safe and cost-effective way. For example, petrol or gasoline, plastics, synthetic fibers, such as polyester and nylon, and all coming from oil. Okay, first things first, I really don't like that this is very focused into the oil and gas industry. Of course, there's a lot of chemicals that can be produced. Don't stick only with oil and gas. Why not go and check out construction material, bulk chemicals, pharmaceuticals, semiconductors, wastewater treatment. There's a lot of things that chemical engineers can do and work in different industries. Overall, I don't like this definition. It's kind of ambiguous, not full enough. It doesn't contain the subjects or typical courses that you will take. It doesn't state the typical tasks that a chemical engineer will have. So not a good one. Now we're going to this one. Chemical engineering is a discipline influencing numerous areas of technology. In broad terms, chemical engineers conceive and design processes to produce, transform, and transport materials, beginning with experimentation in the lab, followed by the implementation of the technology in full-scale production. Okay, so typically you will always hear this definition of chemical engineers being those that are in charge of taking the R&D of a chemist or the chemical chemistry knowledge and then scaling it up. I'm okay with that definition. I really think it's kind of simple or, I don't know, dependent on the chemist. There's a lot of things that the chemical engineer can do without even chemical knowledge itself, such as heating, cooling, condensing, and all that. Maybe even working with uh, separation processes. You are not necessarily working with the product or ideas of a chemist itself. What I do like about the definition is that they included several tasks, such as designing, working, and operating with chemical equipment and processes. So that's great. It's adding a little bit more on the idea or task or what does a chemical engineer actually do. Now, bear with me on this one. It's one of the longest definitions. So here it goes. Chemical engineering is a multidisciplinary branch of engineering that combines natural and experimental sciences, such as chemistry and physics, along with life sciences, such as biology, microbiology, biochemistry, plus mathematics and economics to design, develop, produce, transform, transport, operate, and manage the industrial processes that turn raw materials into valuable products. Okay, I really like this definition, it's very complete. It has the subjects that you will study, for instance, the sciences and mathematics. It has also a lot of actions or verbs that will be typically associated with the chemical engineer. For instance, transforming, transporting, producing, manufacturing, and especially managing. Managing is something that chemical engineers can do and will do very well in the chemical industry. One of the funniest things is that this definition is actually not from a chemical engineering uh, concept or organization or institution. It's actually from a website of the QS Ranking, a website that ranks the universities in the world. So it's kind of curious that they had the best definition so far compared to other organizations or other blogs or websites that are actually in charge of studying chemical engineering. And finally, this one. The development of processes and the design and operation of plants in which materials undergo changes in their physical or chemical state. Applied throughout the process industries, it is founded on the principles of chemistry, physics, and mathematics. Okay, average definition, it includes the sciences, it also states the combination or transformation of chemicals, but overall I would say it lacks a lot of the actions or things that a chemical engineer will actually do. Now, as you can see, I'm a fan of keywords, so let's see what type of keywords can we save from these definitions. So first thing first, sciences. So you heard about biology, chemistry, physics, maybe a little bit on biochemists or pharmaceuticals or so, but sciences are very important because all the knowledge that we use in chemical engineering is actually based in science. Now, mathematics is also another important keyword. It is essentially working with numbers, also knowing how to solve analytically certain type of problems in real life, which is great. We also heard a lot of industry, processes, and chemicals. This is 
for sure something that you're going to encounter in chemical engineering. Design, operation, manufacturing, maintenance, all this is very important, especially when working with processes or systems. You will hear that you will be working with equipment, you will hear that you will be working with a production line, you will also hear maybe that you are working with a chemical plant itself or so. Some keywords that are definitely for sure important are energy and materials, but rather than using materials, you can use raw material or maybe final products or maybe valuable material. I think it's really important to have a better understanding that the chemical engineer is going to work in converting or transforming these raw materials into valuable final materials. Keywords of action are very important so you get an idea not only of random words but also actions. So design, operation, transform, transport, manage, working, manufacturing. All these are for sure very important and it gives you a better understanding of not about just chemical engineering itself but also it's going to explain you what a chemical engineer is actually doing. Okay, so now that we have several ideas, concepts and keywords, let's make a final ultimate definition. Chemical engineering is essentially an engineering field in charge of solving problems and making solutions in the chemical industry. Mathematics, chemistry, physics and biology sciences are required. Most of this is via unit operation design, product design, production and manufacturing, the transport and management of these as well as design and operation of equipment and chemical plants. And as a little bonus, I will also add the marketing of chemical products. So this is it guys, the final ultimate definition of chemical engineering, in my opinion of course. What do you think of this mighty ultimate definition of chemical engineering? Are you on board with this? Maybe you think it lacks several things. Maybe you think we have extra information. Let us know in the comments section below and let's discuss what is chemical engineering and what does chemical engineers actually do. This is not just for me, of course, guys. I really think it's very important to show other persons, specifically students that may be wondering what is chemical engineering, that they really understand what it is and what are they going to be studying for. On my behalf, that will be it, guys. I'll see you in the next video.